Hello everybody, today we have beautiful gaming Alienware laptop. It's an Alienware X17R1 with Intel Core i7 11th gen and great graphics RTX 3070. So we'll take it apart, we'll see what we can replace or fix. Let's start. Let's start with bottom screws all around. Now let's lift the bottom part. You have to separate it from the palm rest. Use only plastic tool. The metal one will scratch the other parts. All right, the bottom is out. Here we have the part number. Now we have access to our internal components. As we can see, the battery is separate. We can take it out and replace it. Same with memory, we can replace it. Same with fans. So let's start first with uh, disconnecting the battery. Once the battery is disconnected, take out the screws all around. All right, this is our battery. Here we have the part number. Now we can take out memory. So this is the DDR4 memory. So you can upgrade your laptop, no problem. Now here we have SSD drive. Let's take out this cover. So under the cover we see the SSD drive. That's the NVMe type. That's our drive. You can upgrade it for a bigger one or replace it if you are getting blue screen or system not found. Now, <clears throat> let's slide out the hinge cover part, which covers our rear I.O. ports. Now we have to slide out this rear vent part. So we have a ribbon cable disconnected from here. So that's our I.O. cover. Now we have access to all components. Oh no, so that's a DC power jack. Luckily, it's separated from the board, so if you are having trouble with charging your laptop because the DC power port is damaged, you can replace this part. That's our DC jack, and here we have the part number. Oh, 
All right, so here is the screen cable. Here's that retaining latch. You have to flip it. Now we can pull out the cable. Right, this one is disconnected. Here, this connector also have that has that retaining clip. Flip it, disconnect. Let's disconnect all the cables from the motherboard. So we have all the components free. That's our audio port. And that's the part number here. So we can replace the audio port in case if it's broken. Let's disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna cables. They are here under the, under the cover. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi card is on the motherboard. It's soldered, so you cannot change or replace that. If your Wi-Fi is bad, then you have to replace the whole motherboard. Now we are disconnecting everything from the palm rest. Here we have the speaker connector. Let's take out maybe speakers now. So if your sound is bad, then you can replace these speakers here we have the part number let's disconnect all the fans and we will be taking them out So if you hear grinding noise from the fan or your cooling is really bad, consider replacing your fans and the heat sink. Here we have the antenna for the Wi-Fi cable, so don't break it. Okay, so that's one of the fans. Here we have the part number. That's the second fan. We have four fans in total. So that's the part number for the second fan. Let's unscrew the other fan. And one here. Now Let's take out the motherboard because the heatsink is on the other side, so we don't have access from this side. One more screw here. And another screw here. All right, now our motherboard is free.
Here we have the part number for the motherboard. Let's flip it on the other side. Now we can see graphics card and the CPU, they are covered with the heatsink and these two fans. So let's take out the heatsink. Let's disconnect these two fans. Now let's gently lift up the heatsink. Be gentle, don't bend this pipe here for the heatsink or your cooling won't work anymore. Be gentle, it may be stuck to the CPU and GPU because of the cooling paste. Let's see. Let's see. So our motherboard is free. This is our CPU and that's our graphics card. Everything is soldered on the motherboard. So in case if that breaks, you cannot replace it. You would have to buy the whole new motherboard. And this is our heat sink with two fans. Here we have the part number. Okay, now we have our power spot. That's the rear I.O. board. Let's take it out. So here we have the part number, it's hidden under that black plastic. So if you check, if you need to check it, lift the plastic up. Mm. Now we will disconnect the screen from the palm rest. So let's flip it, let's take out these screws here. Okay, so there are two more screws from the other side. Alright, our screen is free. 
that's a beautiful screen with 360 Hz refresh rate. Usually it's sold in one piece, so if you have tr having trouble with the, your screen, just search on eBay or gutlaptopparts.com. Here we have part numbers. Check the part numbers from both cables. And that's our last part, the keyboard, panels, touchpad. We can take out the keyboard and you can take out the touchpad in case if they don't work. So let's start with the keyboard. I took out all the small black screws from the keyboard. There is many of them, so I didn't want to show that. Now let's disconnect the keyboard cables. And now press gently from the other side and the keyboard will pop out. That's our keyboard with the back plate. Here we have the part number. And now that's with our part number for the palm rest. So now let's take out the trackpad. It's disconnected here. All right, that's our part number for the trackpad. And now we have the power button. So let's take out this part. So our power, power button and the part number. All right, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.